An innovative program at Action for a Better Community is creating a pathway to well-paying and meaningful careers in the growing field of health care. The Rochester Health Profession Opportunity Grant Program was launched this past spring and it's already seeing results. Donald Hardaway is the director of Rock HPOG and Brittany Davis is a current participant in the program. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. Donald, how did this program come to Rochester, and is this something unique to our city? Oh, this is something, it's certainly something unique to our city. In fact, it's, some, it's something that's unique to the nation. Um, you know, we have uh, 12 partners involved in this process. Okay. Uh, the largest partnership base across the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't certainly have the largest budget, <laughs> but we certainly have the largest partnership, uh, and it's indicative of uh, some. It's indicative of one of Rochester's strengths, and that's the ability to collaborate. Okay. Uh, so you know, we've we've been able to navigate, or we're hoping to anyway. We're in the process of navigating several systems. So mm -hmm. we're talking about training. We're talking about employment. Uh, we're talking about helping people stabilize their lives. Mm -hmm. So you know, part of ABC's mission is just that: is to help people okay. who are. Uh, really, who are in that low-income bracket, okay. um, you know, help uh, gain self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. How do you do that the best? Educate them, you train them, give them an opportunity for employment. So who can participate in the program? Is there a fee to participate? Is this a free program? No, this program is absolutely free. Okay. It's not a fee, um, but you do have to meet some income guidelines, okay? Uh, you have to be at least 18. Okay. Okay, you have to be a resident of Monroe County, so it's not just the city of Rochester. You can be a resident in Monroe County, sure. all right? And uh, you have to meet some income guidelines. Um, specifically, those are uh, living at or below 200% of the federal, federal poverty level. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you are an incumbent worker, 250% below the federal poverty level. Okay. All right? So. Brittany, how did you hear about HPOG? And what, tell us a bit about your story before you came to the program. Okay. <clears throat> before I came to this program, I was incarcerated and then when I got out I met a woman by the name of Mary Sutton who introduced me to Action for a Better Community mm -hmm. SOI program. Mm -hmm. I got into that and then she asked me uh, would I like to be part of HPOG and I said what is that and then she told me that it was basically you can go, they'll help you go to school and mm -hmm. get you into training for a nurse, uh, become a nurse or whatever field you're looking for in a nursing field mm -hmm. and I accept it. So how has the training been so far? What, what have you done? Um, the training has been good to me. Um, I actually am a certified CNA thanks to HPOG. Wonderful. Yes, and I'm just looking forward to continue on working with them and going as further into their health care as possible. Okay. So, Donald, how does it, the program work? You, um, people in the community ap apply to be part of the program, and then what happens? So, <laughs> this application process is, is, is uh, if we're being transparent, it's quite complex, okay. honestly. Um, so, this is not your traditional come sign up, uh, you sign up, you can participate. Okay. This is a five-year study and motivation. Okay. So, Brittany, uh, we're connected at the hip for the next five years. Mm. So okay. she might have just secured her CNA cert certification, but if she wants to go uh, in any direction in the healthcare field, um, we're going to be here for the next now four years because we're into okay. year one. We're going to be here for the next four years to help support her in that process. Mm -hmm. um, so how does one get started? <coughs> uh, the first thing they want to do is call 325-5116. Right? Ask to speak to Pamela Green. We'll get her an appointment. Uh, we'll talk to them about what they need to come down with in terms mm -hmm. of paperwork. Sure. Okay, to determine that they're eligible. Uh, and they will come down for what's called a randomization. Most people understand it to be a lottery. Okay. Uh, so this is the kind of scary part, I think, for people, um, is to you know, help them understand that, you know, you're going to come down, we're going to ask you a series of questions, talking about random selection. We got to get mm -hmm. your consent to participate in the process um, and uh, you will then be uh, randomized. So the lottery process will okay. happen. All right. There's a 66% chance that a person will get in. There's a 33% chance that you will not. Okay. This is the difficult part. Okay. Um, because we're, we're offering an opportunity for someone to change their lives mm -hmm. and you know, they've done what they needed to do in terms of coming down to us with all their paperwork and everything that they need and to end up a part of the group that will not receive services is not only hard for them, it's hard for us. 
but uh, we refer them to other services and That's programs um, that can help them take okay. the next step. So it's not, they're not leaving empty It's handed. not the end of the road. It's not the end sure. of the road. We are just not able to help you. So okay. the beauty in being a community-based organization is that, you know, let's say for instance, Brittany was not able to get in, okay? We would have referred her to uh, either other programs within Action for a Better Community mm -hmm. or other programs within our 12 partner agency uh, or referred her to a program that is outside of our agency. She would not have left without having some sort of assistance without about getting to the next mm -hmm. step that next step just would not have come from us. Okay, so when a participant is selected for the program, mm -hmm. what are the possible career choices that they can look at? Oh, this is when the world opens up. So uh, we have a, uh, a significant number of lattices, four of them, um, that people can uh, entertain to pursue healthcare. Okay. So um, the beauty of this is that we never really know the condition that people are coming to us in. So uh, I'm gonna use Brittany for an example because she's here. Uh, she could have wanted been a medical building encoder. She could have wanted been a radiologist assistant. She could have wanted to be anything. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, she selected to be a CNA, and uh, you know we were happy to help her to achieve her goal. Mm -hmm. Had she had a different goal, uh, we would have worked with her to strategize sure. uh, a plan to help her get where she needed to be over the course of mm -hmm. the next five years. Brittany, what were your expectations going into the program, and what have you learned um, that maybe you weren't expecting? Um, my expectations was to um, basically just um, go and give it my best shot. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think of much because I really just wanted to go and just uh, conquer my HSE. Mm -hmm. So, but when they gave me this opportunity that I can go back into the health field, I took it and I didn't expect to actually <clears throat> finish the classes. I didn't because sometimes you'd be busy and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I actually put all my effort into going to the classes, finishing. I did have doubt that I was gonna pass it, but I did pass and they just gave me a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. And what sort of support is available to you along the way? So you said that there was a time that you thought you might not pass. What happens then? Are there counselors to help the students along? Um, you know, we, we do as best we can to help people prepare to enter the situation in the strongest position that they can. Mm -hmm. Life happens, things happen. Sometimes systems, you know, all systems have their failure. Um, but what we like to do is to one, uh, help people be prepared to enter the system as best they can, and two, make them aware that there's support available. Mm -hmm. So, what do we mean by support? All right, life happens, things happen, you know. Uh, fortunately, uh, she had sound transportation to get back and forth okay. to the class. Uh, let's say something happened to a transportation muffler, um, you know, some sort of minor repair. Um, we could have helped pay for that mm -hmm. so that she can wow. continue to go to the class. Okay. Um, say there were books that she needed uh, to help finish the class that weren't supplied by the program. We'd be able to pay for the books. That's great. Um, uh, I believe you had to take a test, a state, a yes. state fee that was not included mm -hmm. in the training for the program. Okay. Um, so we paid for that. You see. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have an employer partner on the back side of the process that should she complete the class, um, uh, her, her hire was contingent on completing the course. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the kind of systematic barriers that we address. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all we really needed to do was to help, uh, was for Brittany to believe in herself and give us the opportunity to help support her in, in whatever, the, uh, whatever journey she wanted to begin. Right. Who are some of those partners that you work with, employment oh, partners, of, training partners, no, that sort of thing? Of them. Uh, so there are officially about a dozen uh, funded partners that we talk okay. about. So some of them are community-based organizations like our Bureau and mm -hmm. Veterans Outreach Center, Rochester uh, Refugee Resettlement Services, Center for Community Health. Uh, 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 we have uh, some higher education partners, mm -hmm. um, uh, MCC, uh, uh, REOC, um, the University of Rochester for that okay. matter. All right, we have some training partners. Um, some of those training partners include people who offer the CNA training like Finger Lakes Community College, mm -hmm. BOCES. Um, we have some employers 
uh, namely Rochester Regional Health, uh, St. Anne's Community Home, uh, Jewish Senior Life, uh, places like this. Some of them offer training in addition to employment. Uh, so, um, you know, we've been able to kind of create a system um, uh, that we believe uh, can be sensitive to where a participant is. Um, and we do our part to kind of help people get through that system as best mm -hmm. we can, you know. Now, Brittany, what do you tell um, people when you're explaining what it is that you're doing in the program? What's, what's your pitch to them if, you know, maybe they're looking for something like this? Um, I just tell them that if you want to make a change, you'll do it. And basically, that HPOG is the best program to get into because they help you out a lot and not only just help, but they're always there when you need them. Basically, a support can, network. Yeah, you can call them anytime. They'll pick up, they'll mm -hmm. talk to you, stuff like that. So I just tell everybody that wants to get into this field, the best place to be, get connected with HPOG. Mm -hmm. Uh, Donald, final question: Why is this so important for for Rochester and Mon Monroe County? Oh man, this is this is this is very important. I, I really couldn't understate how important this is. Okay, so ABC's uh, part of ABC's mission is to help people. The main part that we focus on is helping people be self sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay, we understand that the employment rates are relatively low. We understand that uh, you know, employment is relatively scarce. Okay. Um, so here we are, helping people. Um, we're going to. You know, Brittany's conversation was that she was interested in pursuing a high school education. She went through the CNA training. She's employed. We're still going to help her secure her high school education. All Great. right. Um, uh, we are helping people get into a career that does not have a low barrier for entry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the more people that we can get and trained and employed, okay, over the course of our five years, we're looking to have just over a thousand people enter the healthcare field. It's a lucrative industry, pays very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your Absolutely. time today, Thank Brittany. You. Congratulations and good luck to you. Thank for you. more information about the Rochester Health Profession Opportunity Grant Program at Action for a Better Community, you can call 325-5116 or visit ABC Info dot org slash h dash p o g